A good day everyone. Welcome to our lesson. Today we're going to be looking at recycles and how they are accounted for in chemical reaction. Uh, but first and foremost, we should be able to first go through the learning outcomes and then go through the gist of the matter uh, in due course. So basically the learning outcomes for recycles, first and foremost, you should be able to draw a flow diagram or process flow diagram or sketch for problems involving recycle, bypass and purge. Now this is very key because now you want to know how to sketch the problem before you can solve it. And then secondly, solve problems involving a number of interconnected units by making appropriate balances. That's also very important. Now moving forward with the learning outcomes, you should be able to use concepts of extent of reaction uh, concepts of overall conversion and concepts of single pass conversion in solving recycle problems involving reactors. Now that is for chemical reactions. Now, fourthly, explain the purpose of a recycle stream, bypass stream and a purge stream. So you should also be able to differentiate uh, between these three respective streams. And uh, lastly, understand in general sense how material balances are used in industry because now remember everything that you learn should be able to put it into practice so it's very key after you've solved the problems and done everything then know how does this particular concept or this subject area apply in industry now let's start with the recycle terms now on the recycled terms you've got gross feed so that's a sum of fresh feed and recycled stream so now this is synonymous to uh, your salary where you just have everything in once nothing has been actually deducted it's just the gross feed so it's the recycled stream and the fresh feed stream gives you the gross feed that's important now what is a recycled stream because also important for us to understand a recycled stream that's a stream that returns part of the gross product returns part of the cross product from downstream to upstream so that's what basically happens so now part of the cross product is returned this is your this is your downstream okay so now from the downstream this is returned to the upstream upstream is here okay so that's the upstream okay so let's go back now fresh feed fresh feed is the initial feed or raw material charged into the system or into the process so initially uh, the, the, the initial raw material that you have in the beginning that you feed into the system it's fresh feed because it hasn't actually interacted with the recycle just yet now the gross product is the total material leaving the process excluding the recycle stream so that's the, to the total uh, product that is there before you can actually uh, remove the recycle stream or you can subtract the recycle stream uh, from the system and lastly you've got net product the material leaving the process after the recycle stream has been withdrawn so this is what it looks so this is your fresh feed this is your recycle stream because you can see it's taken back to the upstream this is your net product now the recycle stream plus the fresh feed in the mixing point will give you the gross feed denoted as f star this is your gross feed and then this goes into the menu now because there are no chemical reaction you also have the gross product leaving the system here so this is your gross product and that's how it's denoted p star gross feed is denoted as f star so it's as easy as that now you can see this here point here is the mixing point this is the mixing point now this one here is the separation point okay so you've got the first unit here which is the mixing point the second unit being the main process and you've got the third unit being the separation point and there of course the overall process as well can be taken into account that will give us fresh feed coming in and then net product leaving so that's also a balance now what i've just explained you can see it here where it's um, clearly stated and outlaid for you so this was the first balance that i've just 
shown them around the mixing point so fresh feed plus the recycle stream give you the cross feed and then the second unit uh, around the main unit you've got cross feed which is f star equates to cross product and then the third balance within the third unit got separation uh, point here is the cross product equals to recycle stream and the net product or remember here the recycle stream is being removed hence it's on the other side of the equal sign now the fourth balance is fresh feed equates to net product so this is for the overall process so now when you actually do your system around the whole unit you can actually come up with this balance if no reactions are taking place okay but now let's look at a situation whereby we've got chemical reactions taking place so for recyclers with reactions what really happens now you can see that the general recycle layout is still similar however now for your first unit this is still your mixing point you will still have the same balance uh, recycle stream plus fresh feed gives you cross feed now what changes everything is the recycle unit because now you cannot assume that cross feed equates to cross product when chemical reactions are taking place because there might be accumulation in the system there might be consumed consumption within the system so definitely that's not going to be the case so now here you use your stoichiometry okay because chemical reactions are taking place so here you have what is known as the single pass conversion it happens in the reactor it's once through because it's only uh, accounted for in the reactor so in this case the cross feed is not equals to it's not always equals to the cross product so it's not equals to the cross product so that's not equals to that okay so how do we know so that's the first unit second unit is the reactor that's our second unit our third unit is the separator and then the last balance overall okay so now let's look at how this all comes together so now if we go there you can see in the cycles with the reaction the mixing point still say, stays the same because no chemical reactions takes place within the mixing point it's just mixing of the recycle stream and the fresh feed giving you the cross uh, feed and then however balance around the main unit which is the reactor the cross feed is not equal to cross product however what we use is the single pass conversion so the single pass conversion is given by this particular equation so now the moles in the cross feed of a particular component subtract the moles in the cross product of the particular component divided by the moles in the cross feed of that particular component now this equation is just synonymous to this equation so this expression here represents moles reacting in the reactor over the cross feed now that's very key here to state that it's only the moles reacting in the reactor okay without considering the overall process now the single pass conversion is also referred to as the once through conversion because it's single pass or once uh, through as easy as that so now moving forward we can see now that our balance there in the separation point hasn't changed as well so the cross product still equates to the recycle plus the net product now for well, the last one however it has also changed so you can now say for the overall process it's going to be fresh uh, feed equates to net product that's not true because of the chemical reactions taking place and also the influence of the recycling so now what we employ is what is known as the overall conversion the overall conversion is given by this formula here okay this is what we employ overall conversion so it takes account of the main chemical reaction that it takes place throughout the process okay so now it can also be reduced to this particular reaction now remember the overall conversion is also referred to as complete conversion complete uh, conversion of that particular process but i would rather stick to the overall conversion because you need to know it's just the accounting for the overall process or the complete process so rather say the overall conversion because it refers to the overall impact of the process now 
we can see if you combine two, the both equations of single pass conversion and overall conversion, we get this equation in such a way that maybe if you know the single pass conversion, don't know overall conversion, you can still get the overall conversion using this uh, mathematical manipulation. Or if you want to uh, determine the recycle system you, uh, stream, you can actually easily determine it by employing this particular equation. So it really comes in handy with uh, such problems whereby you find that you might have one and you might not have the other. So now what accompanies recycling sometimes you'd find that it's a bypass stream or a purge stream. So a bypass stream normally skips one or more units and goes into another unit. So you can see here it's actually bypassing the reactor. So practically we would actually be able to isolate the reactor. This side you might find that the valves there and we can uh, do whatever we want to do in the reactor, uh, be it cleaning or be fixing it and then we can just uh, bypass that particular reactor and hence it's called bypass stream. It's actually self-explanatory. Now that's how different it is compared to the recycle. Recycle is from downstream component to an upstream uh, unit. Now the purge, purge is used to remove a build up or the accumulation of toxins within the recycle streams. As, there is, as more and more material is recycled, you might find that there's a buildup of inlets. So the inlets that build up in the recycle stream are actually removed through the purge stream. So we purge those uh, particular inlets or those unwanted components that might actually affect our main product. So those are the definitions there that outline clearly in terms of bypass what it is and the purge stream as well. Uh, like I say, that it's a stream that is actually played off in the process to remove accumulation of in it or unwanted uh, material that may build up in that particular recycled stream. So thank you very much uh, for watching. Now, if you want to go now and solve problems that uh, encounter that you're going to encounter that actually account for physical processes and reactions. You can check the links there for the first video. It's physical processes of recycling, and then the second video is I've solved the problems involving chemical reactions. Um, you can see, and those are actually my content details. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks.